Hello, everyone. It's time to dive in to a collection that I found of April Fool's shenanigans. It might not be all of them, but it's a good collection, at least gaming-related April Fool's. Uh, we'll see if any uh, one in chat has anything else to add throughout the stream. But I promise you this video will not be funny because there's not really a funny April Fool's video anymore. At least that I know of. Let's start off. We have a Among Us horse mode. All right, so I picked like the sim the one that's like actually kind of semi oh. <sighs> Son of a fuck. That one was actually kind of good. We've got one for a game called Unplugged. This is the Air Triangle Reveal Gameplay. Not bad. Not bad. Give me a cow. We need a cowbell version as well for next year. Give me the cowbell version. Give me that one. This is the Legends of Crytek Hunt Showdown. Great. Wait, what game is that? Why do they have a rap? Oh shit, what is this? Yahoo! Wait, there's a hunt VR a version? With cry engine. I have so many questions. I have so many questions. I'm really confused. Was that their VR game? They made was that a Turok thing? No. They have a climbing VR game. I've got so many questions. Okay, this is the War Thunder trailer, which is called The Children of Arrakis Worm Thunder.
Did they make a Dune mod? They did. Each one of these skins is $17. There's a lot of work that went into that. Okay. That's probably playable. They call it the snail hulud, according to their uh, pinned YouTube comment. Okay. All right. Uh, this next one's a website that's also in uh, Japanese, but it's cute enough that uh, I'll provide the music. Okay. I'll provide the music and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll look at the website. Okay. Here we go. Uh, let's go here. Okay. Okay. This is the guilty bear announcement. Okay, we got some bears here, and boy, they're very guilty. Bunch of stuff in Japanese. They did all the characters. Very good. I kind of like that one. Fuck that one in particular. Fuck this one real bad. That, I don't want to see that shit. That one can suck. All things. This one sucks shit too. That one's dope. I like that one a lot. That one's cool. Fuck this one as well. I think that's missing uh, two important elements. I think that's like two important elements that we're really missing right there. But I can't quite put my boobs, I mean my hands, my finger. I can't, I don't know what we're missing. And then there's, uh, there's testing, it's pretty good. We got some, uh, some in-game shots here. Very exciting stuff. Very exciting stuff, Guilty Bear. Okay, that's enough music. Thank you for the music, Guilty Gear Strive. I appreciate that. World of Warcraft put out some patch notes. <sighs> I'm not going to read them. I'm not going to read them. We also had this for Overwatch. Googly eyes. Play some iconic Overwatch music. Okay. All right. Iconic Overwatch music. I typed it in. Let's see what we get. I've never heard this song. Uh, 
Oh. Okay. Well, now we gotta see where this goes. good. It's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. It still slaps. And then we need like a really bad British accent. Oi, Kofna! We're all heroes! Right there, yeah. That's that's correct, yeah. It's great. It's great. Naraka Blade Point introduced a brand new weapon into their game. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I'm on I'm on board for this. <laughs> I didn't know where we were going with that. Uh, and we got there and I'm kind of into this. <laughs> Special mechanic, I'm stronger. Oh, they bayonetta. We're gonna go fight a Dargan. Okay, the twin tells. Great. Great. 10 out of 10. This next one is some, now I don't, is is this actually like, this was, this is one of those April Fools where it's like, if this actually came out, I think people would legitimately be into it. This is Lost Ark VR. I think people would play this. Someone check on Dark Heroes, please. We need to make sure that he's uh, you know, still functioning.
all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, it's one of those things that people would legitimately like. And those, I think, are the best April Fools. Those are the best April Fools. Is the good stuff. So this is behind the scenes motion capture for a game called Another Eden, The Cat Beyond Time and Space. So I don't know what we're about to watch. Are we recording? My name is Scott, and uh, some people know me as the community manager for Another Eden, the cat beyond time and space. Uh, but what many people don't know, especially outside of performing circles, is that I'm also the lead motion capture artist for the game. Being a motion capture artist, it, it requires a tremendous amount of focus, and mental and emotional and physical fortitude. Some days go better than others, of course, but I have the honor and the opportunity to bring these characters to life in ways that haven't even been attempted before, and it just makes it all worth it. Um, can we do that again? No, that's okay. Pretty sure we got it. I, I know, but I just really think I could get a better performance if I tried one more time. Let's, let's do that again. Come on, guys, one more time from the top. Okay, ready? Another Eden has an enormous cast of characters, all with wildly different personalities and forms of expression. And it's my job as a motion capture performer to really dial in on what is it that makes each character tick? What makes them unique? What is their driving motivation? If I can find the in to a character, that really helps the performance. For example, Aldo who is this altruistic, cooperative type who some have described as a little dense, uh, might react to some shocking news like this. <clears throat> Whereas Hardy, who is this loner bad boy type who marches to the beat of this one's rough, drum, chat. has a surprisingly soft heart, might react to the same news like this. <clears throat> You see the difference. I often get asked, how much motion capture work could there be? It's in pretty a shocking. Game? Pretty close. And here's the thing. Another Eden has a cast of more than 100 playable characters, each with their own dreams and their desires and their own baggage that they bring to bear. And it is my job as a performer to help the creative team at Wright Flyer Studios to bring those characters to life. You know, Wait, where's the way. motion capture of that the real question tree thing? That people should be asking is, how does it feel to take on one of the most important and difficult acting challenges of our generation? That's true. The answer? Humbling. Okay. <sighs> how do you sob pretentiously? First time what? I saw those animations in action. <laughs> Wait, what? It was magic. Did they do their Truly. own subtitles? That's... That's me. The way that this team has fused creative performance and expression with cutting-edge technology... That's the funniest thing so far. words. It has to be seen. It has to be experienced. I am incredibly excited for what the future holds. In many ways, oh my god, we're halfway done. Is pioneering the next generation of motion capture performance. It is truly an honor to be a part of that. Kidding. April Fool. That was rough. Uh, we got a Valorant April Fools. Let's see what this is.
He's back. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. All right. That was <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> what the hell? Why does that exist? That's, 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 uh, I, I like that one. I like that one right there. That's good stuff. <laughs> oh man. All right. This next one is, uh, the overkill April fools. I don't, I don't know what overkill is, but I guess we're going to watch it. Oh, they're a Starbreeze studio, okay. Hello, Heisters. Tobias here. Today, I'm proud to announce a brand new product in the Payday franchise. We bring you a true a PvP experience that puts the verses in Cops and Robbers. Payday Duel, the exclusive deluxe collectible trading card game, or as we like to call it, PDD, TD, CTCG for short, is available in games and gun stores now. Enjoy the thrilling gameplay as you take on the roles okay. of a lovable, okay. honest heroes and the aimless police force battling it out in the latest and greatest of Payday experiences. Payday Duel uses state-of-the-art, overkill patented, creditable art relic distribution technology. Each card is a unique nice. physical item that can be traded, collected and sold among the players. Nice. To build up your collection, buy a police and robber's indiscriminate lineup booster safe and acquire one of hundreds of different cards. In each booster safe, there's also a 0.0% of a percent chance to get a 100% discount of a real firearm to help you finance your next purchase of Payday Duel, the exclusive nice. deluxe collectible trading card game. So don your mask and bring out your deco cards. It's heisting time. Pretty good. Oh, we're not done. Okay, I thought we were done. That's not bad. That's not a bad one. Not a bad one. All right. This next one, uh, I'm only going to tell you what it is, uh, because we're not going to watch 41 minutes of a goof. Uh, however, I know, uh, we do have a bunch of fans of their game. Uh, satisfactory now has an official podcast. It's 41 minutes long. However, they talk about Final Fantasy and Chrono Cross for 41 minutes. So if that's something that you're interested in, by all means, you know, go uh, go check it out. So if that's something that you want to check out. We got a Valheim April Fools. Here we go. He's playing the deer. was okay oh god twitter's auto video player uh someone wants a link in the chat to the uh we, official we need like an intro or something there you go that's the uh the intro there's the the 41 minute podcast in the chat we've got a rocket league right here zeke apparently edited this
<laughs> Wait. Hey. <laughs> <They don't know. laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell did we just watch? That's bizarre. <clears throat> That's absolutely bizarre. Hey, what's going on, Wheat? What's up? And then uh, this was the uh, the final April Fools right here for Jackbox Games. You can get shredded with Jackbox Games. A little protein powder, if that's something that you're into. A little protein powder. Early testimonials for Jacked Box Gains. After I did a YDKJ AMRAP, I can feel the bulges of my brain popping out of my skull. Can't wait to try the Cookie Masterson meditation to wind down. I'm beat red after faking it drop set. I talked to my doctor before trying Jackbox Gains, and it was the perfect way for me to stay fit before delivering my baby. There you go. There you go. That was kind of all the uh, the different things that I saw. Was there any other April Fool stuff that we missed? I think that was it. There's some Guild Wars 2 stuff where uh, Lion's Ark is all dogs, apparently. Um... There's a handful of things there, I guess. What is this one? You won't believe what's coming. This is from Warhammer. Let's check this out. I don't know enough about Warhammer 40k to know what this is in general. So I think the trolls kind of lost on me. This is a long goof. <clears throat> All right, we're back. Did we miss anything important? Well, wait, so there's no dwarves in 40K. That's the goof? <clears throat> That's the whole thing right there, I guess. That's lost on me. That's lost on me. Uh, we'll, we'll watch this one because someone in chat linked it, and then we'll wrap up the vid. This is the Corsair K1 RGB, the world's smallest high-performance mechanical gaming keyboard. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Is it stupid that I could actually find uses for this? Like, I kind of want this. Is 
Yeah, like Corsair should actually put that out. Corsair should they should really put that out for sure. All right, that's the April Fool's roundup that I saw. I'm sure there's a bunch of others. Feel free to link them up in the comments. Thanks for watching. We will see you tomorrow on an actual trailer time, which you can check out on YouTube. All right, see you then. Bye-bye.